I recorded way too much B-roll at Indiana Beach, and I kind of had a niche to want to talk about wood coasters for a while, and I just wrote a bunch of them on my summer trip, so I figured, what the hell? I might as well rank my favorite wood coasters. I mean, I'm not more qualified to rank this than anybody else. I'm, you know, I'm not qualified at all, actually, especially since I haven't been to most of the Holy Grails in the Northeast and New England. Um, you know, like Boulder Dash and whatnot. But other than Boulder Dash and Coaster at PE Playland, I don't really see any other coasters cracking my top 10 other than the ones that don't exist yet as of June 30th, 2023. So let me, you know, without further ado or whatever the fuck, uh, rank my favorite wood coasters from worst to best. 58, I got Little Dipper at Six Flags Great America. Um, it is a roller coaster made for children, so that's probably why I really, you know, don't have much of an opinion. Woodstock Express at Kings Island and Kings Dominion make number 57 and 56. They are kids' wood coasters as well, but actually enjoyable. I, I do like them. Invader at Busch Gardens Williamsburg is going one step up, but it's still, you know, a family coaster at number 55. 54, I've had Thunder Run at Kentucky Kingdom. It's not a very incredible roller coaster. You know, old school kind of Din Corporation. What do you, but, you know, Din Corporation? Do I really need to tell you much more than that? Don't think so. 53, same park. I have Kentucky Flyer, also at Kentucky Kingdom. My least favorite gravity group, which is my favorite manufacturer. I'll just go ahead and spoil that. But, you know, the reason why is it's a, a ride for families. What are you supposed to do here? I mean, they can't really be much better, can they? In number 52, I have Wildcat at Frontier City. And it's in Oklahoma City. It is a very old wood coaster with a nice backdrop. But other than that, it's kind of a piece of shit. I mean, I'll ride it more than once when I on the twice a lifetime I go to Frontier City, but you know, is it something incredible? Nah, it really isn't. Number 50, um, and also, you're not gonna see things like Wildcat at Hershey Park, which I have ridden, because I'm not ranking defunct coasters, I don't have time for that shit. Number 51, we have Meteor at Little America. PTC, that's the same thing as Little Dipper, except the environment's so much better, okay? You'll see when I eventually publish my Little America video. The ride operator has just great energy all the time. You get three laps, interact with the kids and the families it's the atmosphere that does everything and it also circles the whole park it's charming as hell 51 yeah i like it over thunder run not even kidding great experience there number 50 i have hurler at carolyn's uh from everyone's favorite manufacturer international coasters um hurler i'll never get over how dumb a name i know the wayne's world kind of whatever thing that tie in but hurler isn't that just vomiting why would you name the roller coaster like I mean, it's, I like it more than most. I don't think it is a one out of 10 piece of shit like a lot of people call it, but hmm, it's, it's not certainly not a highlight of Carowinds. RMC that shit, man. Number 49, I have Judge Roy Scream at Six Flags Over Texas. Um, it looks like your grandfather's roller coaster. It kind of feels like one too. It feels like it's on life support. Um, if it weren't on its own little island outside of Six Flags Over Texas in one of the most hard to find ass roller coasters ever, I think that would have already been demolished. It's just its footprint. Honestly, just, I think it can go. I'm not gonna cry if we lose Judge Roy Scream, quite honestly. Number 48, I have Texas Stingray at SeaWorld San Antonio at GCI. That's like upper family, maybe beginning to be thrilling, I guess. Um, they opened it one uh, like three weeks before the pandemic hit in 2020. Very bad timing on their part. They should do better than that. Number 47, I have Roar at Six Flags America, another GCI. It's Roar, I mean, I, I, I wrote it twice and I don't really remember my opinions. Generic.com, wish.com, you know? Not an amazing roller coaster. Number 46, I have Giant Dipper at Belmont Park. It's a coaster from 1925 that honestly didn't age very well, but the setting's great. I actually did have a great time on that, but I can't be, you know, it, it, it represents number 146 out of 365 in my overall rankings to show how something so lowly rated in, as a wood coaster still ranked pretty high relative to everything else. I love my wood coasters, so. Number 45, Wolverine Wildcat at Michigan's Adventure. Um, the, I rode the version with the Titan track and then the old track, so it goes from the smoothest wood coaster of all time to one of the jankiest of all time in the same ride, and that just juxtaposition made me giggle, so I guess I like it for that reason. Number 44 is Pegasus at Mount Olympus. Um, it's like a drunk teenager who doesn't know what he or she is doing, the roller coaster. It does like little wild mouse turns that don't make any sense. It meanders, it's confused, the thrills are random, and then it just shits you to the side at the end of the ride, giving you whiplash. It's just a pissed off roller coaster, and I kind of like it for that. It's charming in a weird way. 43, I've got Viper at Six Flags Great America. 
uh, instead of the Coney Island cycle and you get Six Flags as bootleg of it. I mean, pretty fun, but come on, man. It's not the real one, which I haven't ridden. I, I'm hoping to ride that next year. Number 42, I have Legend at Arnold's Park. Just rode that uh, coaster from 1930 that apparently GCI just rebuilt completely. So is it a GCI now? I have no idea. It was fun. The buzz bars are cool, but like, it's fine, it's fine. I don't really have anything negative to say. Number 41, Wild One at Six Flags America. Coaster from 1917 that was relocated. It's the beginning of a huge chain of PTCs. Pretty good, but these are better. Number 40, Racer 75 at King's Dominion. It is a very fun ride only trumped by a roller coaster almost exactly like it called Racer at Kings Island at number 39. Um, the renovation that Gravity Group did really just made it pop off with the new colors, really fun ride, love that shit. Number 38, I have Blue Streak at Cedar Point, uh, one of the first wood coasters I ever rode. Um, it's iconic, I love it to death, but it's definitely not one of the best PTCs. You wanna know what's better? How about we keep going to number 37, I have Screaming Eagle at Six Flags St. Louis. It is um it's a it's a rough bitch it's a rough bitch but it rounds off the the three woody lineup at that park so well that i really am appreciative that it's there number 36 is a is a pretty obscure one cannonball at lake winnipesoka um definitely make your way over there if you're doing like a roller trip roller coaster trip like you know six flags over georgia alabama adventure dollywood it's relatively close to dollywood even though it's in georgia it's Chatta, Chattanooga or something. It, it, it's, it's close to Tennessee. It's a pretty good old school Woody and in a 45 minute park visit, get on that. You need to before it's gone, before that park goes under. Number 35, uh, at the top of this PTC train of which only two PTCs are even higher is a comet at Hershey Park. It's it's a, it's great. It's like a grandparent. It's a it's like your great grandfather's roller coaster, except maintained impeccably. And you got Skyrush like hanging out around it at the same time. It's balling. I love it. It's one of my actual favorite coasters at um, at that park, and representative of all my coasters. So that was my 35th favorite, 130 overall. Just so you have context. Number 34, I have Lightning Racer at the same park. I like it more just because it's a more complete package, but it's one of the weaker GCIs overall. Uh, the dueling's fun. There's some forces, but I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's not exactly a highlight of the park. I haven't ranked higher because, I mean, it is a better roller coaster, don't get me wrong, but it could have been a lot more. Number 33, I, I really can't wait to come back to this to give it a higher ranking than this because I feel like I'm like being disrespectful. Rampage at Alabama Adventure, which Canopy just released a video saying that it's the best coaster in the Southeast. I just didn't get those rides. I guess I was early in the morning or something and, my, and the shit was screwed up. It's my 121 overall. Um, I guess it was just cool day empty train beginning of the day i i got like suboptimal rides i need to go you know when it's hot and i'm upset about the sun i guess one above it at number 32 is kentucky rumbler at beach bend solid gci very fun definitely worth checking out beach bend uh, to ride that and scat and all those old ass obscure flats whenever you do a, a holiday world trip or something. It's worth it, it's a lot of fun. Number 31, Great American Scream Machine at Six Flags Over Georgia, which is representative of my number 113 overall. It's pretty sick. Now that they did the retrack, it went from a rough son of a fuck to act a genuinely great scenic ride. Uh, it's Those of you who used to hate it, give it another shot, it's pretty good. Number 30, I have Hoosier Hurricane at Indiana Beach, the park that you're seeing in this footage, you know, it's uh, the weaker of the three, the weakest of the three. Still fun, probably more scenic than Cornball Express's route, but definitely not worth skipping um, when you're there. I have number uh, at 108 overall. Number 29 and 99 overall, so we're now top 100. I have Apocalypse at Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's really, really fucking rough, and the setting doesn't do anything for anybody. However, it's a great ride. I really love like the, the, the shooting through the station like thing that it does halfway through the ride. It's pretty solid stuff. Number 28, I have American Eagle at Six Flags Great America. One of a kind experience for me, man. An old school intimate that kind of meanders and does weird shit, but has like amazing, like a, one of the most outrageous helixes I've ever seen. Really great experience other than the 12 hour walk to and from the park into the station. Like who designed that dumb shit? Number 27 and 90 overall, I have Cornball Express at Indiana Beach. It is the 
it is the best uh, traditional woody there, but uh, you see how I haven't said a Lost Coaster yet? Here's where the rankings will get a little weird because Lost Coaster is way higher than this. Love Cornball, though. Those buzz bars slam and kick ass. Number 26, I have Timberwolf at Worlds of Fun, number 74 overall. Um, dude, this is the epitome of Den Corporation, man. This was a great ride. I really loved it. I guess they know how to maintain a din in this park, man. Number 25, Grizzly at King's Dominion and the old version, not the new renovated one. The back row of Grizzly was worse than Mean Streak. It was just chaotically outrageous. Holy shit. And this is my first hot take, honestly. I love that. It's the so bad it's good. It's like the ultimate energy of that. It was fucked. And that's why I loved it. And I don't think I'm just going to love it as much anymore when I rewrite it now that they fixed the fuckery. Number 24 and 63 overall is American Thunder at Six Flags St. Louis, a solid GCI. Great, great ride overall. But uh, there's a handful of GCIs I definitely want to rank higher than that. Number 23, Cyclops at Mount Olympus. Uh, 23 and number 62 overall. I was blown away by everything at Mount Olympus. I Everything was like a standard deviation higher than I expected, including Cyclops at third place. Amazing ride. I, they must have been doing some good maintenance work because fuck, I had a lot of fun there. And Cyclops was a real highlight of it. Um, especially they had like a, a, a late drop, like late into the ride that like surprised the shit out of you. Very fun. Number 61 overall and number 22 in my wood rankings. I have Thunderhead at Dollywood. And oh, before I talk about that, let me tell you about this new backdrop you're seeing. Um, I intended on recording the entire cruise uh, on the Schaefer Queen, and I had a spare battery because I knew my thing was about to die. And except when I went to switch to my new battery, I realized I didn't charge my spare battery, so you don't get a complete cruise. So this blue ballery, I guess I'm just using it for this video. I'm sorry, you won't see the whole cruise either here or in my future Indiana Beach video because I fucked up. So Thunder, uh, Thunderhead is 22. It is an amazing roller coaster. Really good wooden GCI. Number 21 and 60 overall. I have a boss at Six Flags St. Louis. Um, that roller, the roller coaster kicks ass. It's the best coaster at Six Flags St. Louis. And all of you people complaining about it are fuckheads, man. It's fun as hell. The front row boss is the best ride there. Yeah, I guess they could RMC it and turn it into just one of the best coasters in the world. But I love boss. Those of you complaining about it, stop that shit. Stop it. Now we're finally in my top 20 uh, wood coasters and that number 53 overall. Freshly ridden, zipping, pippin' at Bay Beach. Yeah, that uh, Triangle Hill is exactly what people are telling you. It's fucking crazy. It's so tremendously out of the way, but the value, a dollar in an old school, old school fair tickets to ride it in a local park. I love that thing. Zip and Pippin's sick. Number 19 and 45 overall, Goliath at Six Flags Great America and the Wooden RMC. I, I liked it a lot more than I expected to. Ended up becoming my favorite roller coaster at Great America, um, but so many RMCs are ranked higher than that. Oh my goodness. Number 44, I have Boardwalk Bull at Akima Boardwalk. Uh, an, another example of Gravity Group being my favorite manufacturer. Um, what they fit in the one acre is remarkable. I mean, it comes within like inches of hitting the building next to it. It's just so compact, so much fun. I love how it's like an earthquake every time it passes you near the station, one of my favorites. Number 17, I have Mind Blower at Fun Spot Kissimmee, also the Gravity Group, and the fucked up version. You know, the one before RMC screwed it up by cleaning it up? No, the one that hurt. That one, I love that. It felt like ass in the best way. It just fucked you up, and I was kind of drunk. Best rides ever. Number 39 overall. The bad ver the one you hated is the one that I ranked this highly. Just letting you know that. Number 16, Renegade at Valley Fair. Holy shit, I had a lot of fun on that ride. 34 overall, by the way. It feels like a remix of all of the other GCIs, which is a completely different personality. Super fun shit. Number 15, Zeus at Mount Olympus. Yo, I didn't know that it would. this would make top 15 wood coasters. It's fantastic. Zeus on its own would be the best coaster at a lot of smaller parks. Do not skip on Mount Olympus. I don't know why you're all complaining about that park. I had a great time there. Number 29 and overall and number 14 in my wood coaster rankings, Mystic Timbers, which used to be ranked lower. It... At, earlier in the trip, I had Renegade ra ranked higher than Mystic Timbers, even though I had been to Mystic Timbers three different parks, three different times before. But I got like drizzly nighttime pack train rides that really sealed the deal at the end of my coaster trip. I'm a Mystic Timbers fan now, but it's not the best GCI. I still don't think so. I think that's Prowler at Worlds of Fun at number 13, 28 overall. Um, 
I love this thing, man. It goes through the woods so frantically. Very similar layout to Mystic Timbers, but just with, I guess, the higher density of trees, it just feels so much faster. Ride ops were super cool. I had a lot of fun on that roller coaster, man. Number uh, 12, uh, Legend, Holiday World, 27 overall. The, 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 in my opinion, lowest of the three Woodies at Holiday World, but all three are absolutely elite. Legend. I mean, my friend, she just told me that it's her number two favorite overall with Lightning Rod in third place. Like, if you're a laterals enthusiast, this is the holy grail. At night, at Hollywood Nights, incredible. I have Raven at number 11 and 26 overall, ranked a little higher than that because it just feels like a more complete package for me. You know, the scenic the thing through the water, that fifth drop. I don't know, it just, something about Raven tickles me a little bit better than Legend, but I think Legend is technically a better roller coaster, but that's how I rank my shit. Now we're in my top 10. And number 25 overall, Phoenix at Knobles. Mm, what a wonderful roller coaster. And I think I'm fucking up with my rankings because now I need to just, yeah. Um, where's Twister? Did I even rank Twister? Oh, it's because I have Twister ranked as a fucking, I have it listed as a steel coaster. So I screwed this whole thing up. 124 overall. Oh God. I fucked up. 124 overall would have made it uh, number 33.5 on this list between Rampage and Lightning Razor. I'm sorry about that. So I guess top, this should have been the video should have been top 59. So I guess when I name this video top 59 coasters I've been on, but they see I start at 58, people are gonna get pissed off, huh? <laughs> all right, I'm fuck. I'm all fucked up. All right, whatever. Phoenix at my my top 10, so this is still accurate, I guess. Phoenix at Knobles, PTC. I've never seen a coaster whose POV tells you less of the story than this dramatically awesome roller coaster, dude. Um, Phoenix is one of the best things that's ever happened, and you need to ride it. It's a roller coaster that gets progressively better as it coasts along. Pun not intended. Uh, it's a joy. It's basically luxury vintage wood coaster. Put it that way. The buzz bars, it covers nothing. The operations are amazing. The price is affordable. Go to Knobles. Just go to Knobles, okay? Number nine overall in 24. Sorry, number nine wood coaster in 24 overall. I have Outlaw Run in Silver Dollar City. And basically take just the craziest, most chaotic, crazy shit, especially at night. It's there's nothing like it. it way more batshit than lightning rod not long enough to be ranked higher but one of the best shits ever number eight at this wonderful amusement park right here we uh shortly before uh my camera footage fucking dies um at this park as i intended to get the whole cruise not nah, i'm fucked sorry it's a lost coaster of superstition mountain number 22 overall used to be my top 20 before this trip I love it. It's the quirkiest, most unique, refreshing, lovely thing ever. I love it. It's It brings me joy that highly to where I rank it that highly and I'm not stuttering. You need to ride it. It's one of the most unique things ever and I love my baby. It's the reason I returned to Indiana Beach. Number seven, Gravity Group's lovely switchback at ZDT's. See, this is where I told you, my, this is where my rankings get crazy. You you have to see it to believe it if you haven't seen it. You're 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 driving up in Seguin, Texas to this this thing, and you don't see it until you're about to pull into the parking lot. What they shoehorned into like no space and cutting into a former grocery store. It's a marvel of engineering and it's thrilling as hell. Despite that, I I write coasters with memories, and that's where I met my friend that I travel like all around the country with when we were riding it 28 times in one day, having a freaking blast. Switchback at ZDT slaps, and I love it and always will. Number six overall, and no, number six wood coaster and 20 overall. The beast at Kings Island, the best coaster at Kings Island. I have every coaster at Kings Island ranked lower than this. I, there's no coaster ever, there's never gonna be another coaster ever built like that thing, man. It covers 30 acres, meanders, feels like it was designed by a, a drunkard on Roller Coaster Tycoon, and I don't care, it's just a classic, wonderful thing especially at night love the beast for life now we're in the awesome top five thing and number 11 overall a coaster i just rode earlier this month shivering timbers at michigan's adventure it's basically like a rough wooden bnm hyper coaster if that sounds out up your alley which it is mine then absolutely people who are saying like 
Coaster Dash, El Toro Ride, a couple people saying that it's on par with Voyage. I'm not sure I can be relating with that, but is it like worth going to Michigan's Adventure just for this, like four and a half hours away from the nearest anything? Yeah, amazing. It's crazy, it's so long, and it's CCI's magnum opus now i guess because who's getting credit for number four ghost rider at knott's berry farm is it gci or cci i don't know but the laterals on it are absolutely crazy it's a complete experience i love just the tunnels and of within itself um it is easily the best coaster at knott's berry farm and one of the easily the best coaster in freaking california other than x2 um, one of the best things that's ever happened. I, it really is. Number three overall and number... God, I keep fucking that up. Number three Wood Coaster and number seven overall is El Toro at uh, Six Flags Great Adventure. I mean, what haven't you heard about El Toro? I keep, I keep saying that every time I say El Toro in a video. Let me have an opinion on El Toro for a second. Um, those camelbacks are the most batshit camelbacks on like any freaking roller coaster. Actual ejector. Holy shit. Um, it is the most relentless batshit Six Flags coaster straight up. I mean, it's, you know, other than like, I, I guess X2, as I said earlier, um, I consider it, I consider there to be really five elite woodies and it'll be six with Boulder Dash. I know that. And that's with Shivering Timbers, Ghost Rider, El Toro. And I can't believe this. I, this came in so much higher than I expected to. Number two wood coaster, number five overall, top five overall, Hades three freaking 60 Hades 360 at Mount Olympus I don't know what you guys are talking about this this is probably my favorite layout of all time other than the one that's a number one um it's cemented it went from gravity group maybe being my favorite manufacturer to definitely being my favorite manufacturer either they did track work on this thing or all of you have been lying about how rough it is is it rough yeah are the are the tr timberliner trains exactly what we want here maybe not but it's awesome the roughness is exactly the level you want and when the lights are out in the underworld you're going like 25 it's like 25 degrees colder down there with a haunting around you it feels like the actual underworld the corkscrew is completely smooth it is one of the best layouts ever number five overall i don't know you need to tell me has it been retracked or is everyone a liar it's one of those two it has to be love that ride oh my god and then you've heard this probably 35 times on my channel number one the voyage i love the voyage the voyage is the best everything best layout best experience best people running it um i love the voyage forever and i'm i think the only way that it could ever be dethroned is by another gravity group with a project with a larger budget and better terrain like hard hard sell considering they haven't made a large scale coaster like this in the u.s since 2006 so hope it happens but until that day that'll probably never happen voyage for life number one wood coaster number one overall